Welcome to my channel. I hope you like and subscribe and thanks so much for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this little hat with ears. It's absolutely beautiful and super easy to make. It's for baby boys and girls between three and six months old, but you can easily make it from a newborn size and up to an adult size using standard size measurements that I'm going to provide you with in this tutorial. Now, as always, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box below. Thank you so much for your support. Now, let's get started, but don't forget to subscribe, activate the notifications bell to all notifications so that YouTube can recommend my videos. And if you like this tutorial, please hit that like button. Thanks so much for watching. Okay, to crochet this little hat, I'll be using this four millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this DK weight yarn. You can use any yarn weight with any hook size. Now, we're going to make this little hat based on standard size measurements, so you can make this hat for any size, any age, from a preemie size up to an adult size. And these are the two measurements that we're going to need. The first measurement that we're going to need is the total length and then we're going to need the head circumference so to start you're going to have to make a chain with this measurement i'm going to make the zero to three month size so according to this my total length needs to be about five to five and a half inches or 12.5 centimeters to 14 centimeters now make sure that whatever size that you're going to make here add five centimeters more or two inches more and that is for the brim now here i have 34 chains the stitch multiple to this base chain needs to be multiples of three plus one so here you can take a screenshot of this remember these are the two measurements that we're going to need total length and the head circumference and to this measurement here make sure you add five centimeters or two inches more so here like i said i have 34 chains into the second chain from the hook right here i'm going to make a half double crochet so yarn over insert your hook into that second chain grab a loop i have three loops on the hook close now into the next chain make a slip stitch and this is how we're going to continue for the rest of the chain into the next chain make a half double crochet into the next chain a slip stitch so half double crochet into the next chain slip stitch into the next half double crochet into the next chain slip stitch into the next and that's all you're going to do to the end notice how we started this first row we started with a half double crochet so we're going to finish with a half double crochet in the next row for the next uh, pattern row you're going to start with a slip stitch and end with a slip stitch so uh, those are the two rows that we're going to repeat until we have the head circumference size so continue finish this first row and i'll meet you at the end I'm here at the end of this first row. Now here at the end, I have my last chain. Into this last stitch here, make a half double crochet. And this is how I finish the first row. Now you should have a total of 33 stitches at the end of this row. From here on, make sure that you always have 33 stitches. Now for the second row here, we're going to chain one and turn. Now in this row, this is what we're going to do. On top of the half double crochets, you make slip stitches. Into the slip stitches that we did in the previous row, you make half double crochets. So this here is the first stitch. It's a half double crochet. So right into this first stitch here, make a slip stitch. Now, I recommend that you use a slightly bigger hook size to make this pattern here. That way you are able to see the slip stitches because they do tend to get lost. So here, so that you don't forget, put a stitch marker into this slip stitch because once we finish this row and we come back with the third row into this slip stitch here, we're going to make a half double crochet. So if it's easier for you, mark that slip stitch. Now. The next stitch you can clearly see it up here it's a slip stitch so into this slip stitch now make a half double crochet now into the next stitch which is a half double crochet make a slip stitch and into the next which is a slip stitch make a half double crochet 
and this is all we need to do for the rest of the second row and these are the two rows that we're going to repeat until we have the head circumference size or measurement so continue like this making half double crochets into the slip stitches and slip stitches into the half double crochets from the previous row i will meet you at the end of the second row i'm here at the end of the second row now i still have my last stitch here my last stitch is a half double crochet so right into this stitch here i'm going to finish this row with a slip stitch now make sure that when you make these slip stitches they're nice and loose so that you're able to see them right here right on top as you work the next row so now at the end of the second row i also have 33 stitches like i said from here on you're always going to have the same number of stitches now for the third row we're going to chain one and turn in this third row since my last stitch was a slip stitch i need to start this row with a half double crochet so right on top of this last stitch make a half double crochet and right on top of the next make a slip stitch into the next stitch which is a slip stitch make a half double crochet and right into the next stitch which is a half double crochet make a slip stitch from here on you're just going to repeat these two rows and really the only difference is the way that you start each row and all you have to do is just look back in the previous row how you finished the row or how you started and then that's how you're going to continue well the opposite of that on top of the half double crochets you make slip stitches and into the slip stitches you make half double crochets now to finish this third row here on top where we have the stitch marker remember we started with a slip stitch on the second row so you're going to finish with a half double crochet which is the same we started with a half double crochet so you finish with a half double crochet then for the fourth row you're going to chain one turn and then you're going to start with a slip stitch and then continue on with the pattern and so on you're going to continue like this repeating these two rows Here's another little hat that I'm working on in a different color. And as you can see, that's the stitch pattern. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm thinking of making a baby blanket using this stitch, so um, stay tuned for that. So you're going to continue like this, just repeating those rows until you have the uh, head circumference measurement, which is this here. For zero to three months, I'm going to continue until I have about 14 inches and then here are the centimeters. So I'm going to continue and make this part here until it measures about 14 inches. I'm not sure how many rows that is going to be for me. You might have less or more. It all depends on your tension and the yarn that you're using and the hook size. So you're just going to continue until you have that measurement. So I'm going to do that and then I'll come back and show you how we're going to finish the hat. Okay, I did a total of 55 rows here for my little hat. I'm making the zero to three month size. I have 55 rows and it's measuring about 13 inches, which is about 33 centimeters as I mentioned for the zero to three month size it needed to be 13 between 13 and 14 inches or about 33 to 35.5 centimeters so I have the measurement that I need to make my little hat now so now we're just going to join here the sides and then we're going to close the top so to do this here I have 55 rows like I said so here's my last row here's the first row that we did so here at this end into this last chain here on this side, I'm going to grab this loop here and bring it through like this. Now chain one and insert your hook back into the same stitch, the first stitch here on this end and into the first stitch here on the last row that I did. For me, it was a slip stitch. So just insert your hook there and make a slip stitch. Make sure that these slip stitches that we're going to make are nice and loose so that this part here doesn't um, shrink. So into the next here on this side and into the next stitch on the last row here, insert your hook and make a slip stitch. So this is how we're going to join the hat now, like this, slip stitches. So continue now until you come here to the end. I will meet you here to show you how we're going to close the top of the hat. I finished joining both ends. Here's my last slip stitch. Now we're going to open this up so that this part here is now at the back of the head. Once we fold this like this, this is going to be the front and this is going to be the back. 
So here we're going to find the center here on this other side. So fold this and find the center. So it's right about here. So I'm going to put a stitch marker right there. So now I'm going to seam this side first because my yarn here is on the back side. So I'm going to insert my hook right here where I have the stitch marker. So right there. And I'm going to grab this loop. This is my last slip stitch here. Oops. Bring it through, chain one, and insert your hook back into the same stitch here and into the stitch that's on this side here, into the next stitch and make a slip stitch. Now make sure that these slip stitches are nice and loose so that when we do this part here, it looks nice once it's done. Here's my last slip stitch here on the side. I'm going to cut my yarn. And I'm going to pass my yarn through this last loop here. And then we can just hide our end. Now we're going to turn this and we're going to do this side. So same thing, just insert your hook back into this stitch here. This is the first chain and now go on the other side of that stitch marker, make a knot here, pull it through, there, chain one, and then repeat the same thing. Okay, so here's the last stitch. Now pass your yarn through this last loop, cut your yarn, and then all we need to do now is just hide our ends. Now I'll turn this over so that this here is now going to be the wrong side. Once we turn it over, it's going to be the right side. Push the, these corners here, make sure that they're nice and pointy. So now this is how it looks. We can turn this like this and here's the brim. And I'm going to try it on my little model here. Her head circumference here is for a zero to three month size. So let's try it on her, see how it looks. Now you can even go back and just do a stitch here to hold the ears in place. I think I'm going to do that. Let me show you here how I'm going to do it. Like this. Just grab some yarn here and go like this. Not too much. Like this. And then just go back and hide that end. And I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. So I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll come back and show you the finished hat. And here's the finished hat. This is how it looks. I also went ahead and attached these little bows here to the sides. Now these little bows, all you do is just go on YouTube and search how to make bows, um, which is what I did. And then I just went ahead and attached them here. You can also have glue them on, but I prefer to attach them that way they don't come off. And to attach them, all you do is just sew them in uh, with needle and thread. I used uh, some thread with the same color and a very thin needle and I just attached them to uh, both 
corners here which create the little ears so let me try it on my little model here so that you can see how it looks there it is look how beautiful that looks it's absolutely beautiful it's so cute i love it and you can make this little hat for any size any age and use any yarn weight with any hook size you can even use scrap yarn um, because you don't need that much yarn to make this little hat and you can make it from a newborn size and up to an adult size so here's the finished little hat and here's the other one this is the blue one let me try it on there it is it's so cute I've seen um, a couple of newborn babies wearing these little hats and they just simply look adorable wearing them. So I hope you get to make a couple of them as well. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Now, don't forget, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.